Ain't nobody no fucking SoundCloud rapper, no mumble rapper, no none of that shit. It's a new wave, point blank, period. And if you don't know what to call it, don't disrespect it. I don't know if it was the fact that I was really high or like the fact that it was just the 808 Mafia beat that I've ever like had in my hands for the first time. So like, I guess like when I heard the tag and I heard how it dropped, it just made me want to just like rap, I don't know. I didn't even think that it was gonna like, I guess get a million plays or whatever. Like I was just like, this song's whatever. It was like a throwaway song to me, honestly. That's why I didn't even put it on the mixtape. It's the Brown Demon Relax all three Xanax had to relapse. I've probably relapsed several times, a lot of times, more than enough. Don't do drugs. And I'm tucked up with my Nina, four perks in my body bleeding. I don't want to like inspire my fans to think that that shit's okay. You know what I mean? Or think that that shit's cool to do. So it's like, I don't really try to focus on talking about that as much. I mean, like I talk about it, but that's just me. It's not about like having them be like, yo, perk sets, Xanax, cool as fuck to do. Like. I hate that shit. I don't say it to glorify it. I say it cause that's just what the fuck happened in my life. And diamonds dancing on my wrist like a stripper bitch when it's gleaming, compressive, finessing Zans on my life. This shit was no reason. I, I was remixing Xanax <laughs> and I was selling a remix Xanax. I was compressing them. And then um, finessing people just like jigging them out of their money. I think about it like now in my life and I'm like, yo, I really didn't even have to do any of that. Like I could have probably just went a different route, but fuck it, we here. Fuck up by my way, I feel possessed and in the maze. And if I'm dancing with the devil, hold me tight and then we strike. When you work through the motions, it's like dancing with the devil. You don't know exactly like what you're doing. Regardless if I make a good decision or a bad decision, you feel me? The devil hold me tight, we straight. Black plague running through my fucking veins. Any type of negative energy that you decide to intake in your life is black plague. At the time, I was doing a lot of negative shit, so I felt black plague running through my veins. And these niggas sleeping on me, but get mad cause the young nigga pay. Ooh, I ain't with that bitch, and listen, I fuck up the pot. I'm Betty Crocker in the kitchen, and if this get disrespectful, Rich Life coming through the building. Rich Life is me, Chris De Niro, Danny Towers, 458 Keys, and young bands. If it gets disrespectful, like shit will go down and we will pop through the building and we will throw our rap careers away. Honestly, we're so humble. So when it, when people push us there, it don't look pretty at all. Now my swing up on that pussy, boy, I'm A-Rod with that reaching money long, just like Rapunzel head, watch you grip a fucker deeply. Future trunks up in that bitch, boy, I'm cutting shit like it's freezer, hold up, fuck. Nigga testing, he ain't making it to the next sequel, hold up, fuck. Nigga testing, he ain't making it to the next sequel. Future trunks up in that bitch, boy, I'm cutting shit like it's... It's just a Dragon Ball Z reference. When trunks came down from age 765, I think. It was like age 765, he went to the future. No, he left the future. Went back in time, and it was like during this episode where Frieza came back from Goku like killing him in Planet Namek, and he just cut the shit out of Frieza like just, it was over with. When I'm in the cut, like I'm just fucking shit up like it's Frieza like I'm in the cut cutting shit up. Bounce with that check to step it with my vest. Like bounce with that check to step it with my vest. Like bounce with that check to step it with my vest. Like bounce with that, bounce with that, bounce with that. I I I woke up with a really good check in my bank account, and I still happened to have a vest on. So I was bouncing with that check to step it with my vest. She want that old thing back. She told me that I can't control me now. I'm in that same position, never left. I can't control me now. She want that old thing back. She told me that I can't control me now. I can't control me now. I can't control me now. I'm in the same position that I was in a year ago of how people like viewed me or how people looked at me, and I got tired of it. So when I'm like, you can't control me now, like I was just gonna break through all those barriers and just like try to keep pushing myself as an artist to that next limit.